Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live, everyone. As managers everywhere are doing their best Charlie Day to figure out a perfect balance between working from home and coming into the office, one question remains, what is the ultimate sweet spot for hybrid work? One study says two days in the office is optimal, and that would make the optimal work week. So we're going to have a wide-ranging discussion here. We've brought back Jared Blickery for the conversation. Right so, Dave, I'm going to go to you first, actually. Yeah, we'll give him the one. last word on this. Oh, All right. We will. Um, I, look, I, I went into this thinking three days at work, two days at home is the optimal number. And so too did Nicholas Bloom, who was a Stanford researcher, and he researched this in terms of productivity and stress. He went in with the same assumption that three at work, two at home is ideal and optimal. And what he found out from employees is that is average at best, that the ideal setting for workers now is two days at work, three at home. So I'm gonna say right now, I prefer to be in an office. Every day. And here Although <laughs> I have a two hour commute here uh, and a two yeah. hour commute home. So, therefore, I'm going to say three and two is my ideal setting. What about you? All right, I'm going to say, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And let me just say to begin with, I think it's really interesting, there's my camera, that this is my first time sitting at the anchor desk in literally two years, and we're wow. talking about how much time we're going to spend at home. Now, <laughs> For me, the ideal is a hybrid day because, you know, I go to the New York Stock Exchange in the, in the morning. It's only a right. quick walk from my house. Uh, but then I have the option of going back to my office and my home and broadcasting from there or broadcasting from here coming in. And sometimes I even go back home again. So the pandemic itself has done the broadcasting industry a favor because it's given us all these options. I don't need to be here three days, there two, two days. I need to be in a lot of places throughout the day. And that just gives me the flexibility. You know, this comes back to what we were discussing earlier this week in the types of job functions and role types where it is better perhaps for us to be sitting next to each other and to be able to no have question. side discussions and also know where we're going next. But at the same time, to Jared's point, because we have these setups that we can rely on remotely from anywhere, you could be in the Bahamas right now. I almost am. I'm checking out right now, guys. There you go. <laughs> He's got his shorts on under the, well, you can see that Actually, he doesn't have shorts on today. Broadcasting so Underneath is, the pants I do. Okay. <laughs> we appreciate <laughs> you wearing pants. Yeah, on a Friday, it's just it. a no pants Friday. Uh, but <laughs> I was at home. We need to distinguish broadcasting from other uh, other industries, quite Absolutely. frankly, because I've talked to a lot of Wall Streeters who are back five days a week, and they are burnt out in mm -hmm. about two to three weeks, and suddenly their bosses are realizing it, they are seeing it, and they are adjusting. We heard Jamie Dimon out of the gate say, we want everyone back every day, and he quickly <laughs> retreated from that yeah. once he found out the reaction to his employees across the country. So I think it's just gonna be a moving target over time, and I think ultimately, I don't think people are, for the most part, ever going back five days a week. 35% of our workforce is back five days a week. How high does that number get? Um, I, well, it depends on what kind of job you do. You were mentioning the financial sector. Arguably, they need to be in the office a little bit more than a, some people, but there are some people who can't do their jobs from home at all. So for some people, that number is zero, unfortunately. Then you take the opposite end of, of the spectrum tech. If you're working at a, a Silicon Valley tech firm, work from anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter. I don't think you need to come into the office at all. That seems to be the attitude at a lot of these firms, Alphabet, Facebook included. Do you think there's going to be a sense of hybrid FOMO? Say you work in one <laughs> particular industry or job function and you see your friends saying, hey, I've got this hybrid function that yeah. I've been working in throughout the pandemic and that's going to be here to stay. Does that cause churn in that particular industry or that role type? In short, yeah. FOMO churn. You got it.